So this is a brief response to a video about, uh, I can't remember the user's name, I always mispronounce it, stuff like that. Anyway, this is about YouTube using Color of Law to summarily dismiss people's um, videos on their site. Confusion is often the biggest obstacle to action. In a city, women are taught, when they are taught these things, that instead of crying out rape, they should cry out fire, because people will care more about their own property. On YouTube, we divvied up the property again. We weren't sure whether hate speech is, speech is protected by the First Amendment in the United States, where a lot of the YouTubers who were racist were broadcasting themselves from. So we weren't sure if we should help them. Uh, anime music videos, or AMVs, uh, or animated music videos, there's no set definition. We're not sure whether that really crossed the line, or it's copyright infringement. So we didn't necessarily act on that. Uh, movie reviewers, let's players. Well, that is using a lot, yet isn't it their own content that uh, makes it dynamic? We weren't sure. We waited. Then you get to my community, and you should know who that is by now. Our opinions seem wild, and nobody really cared about them. And there might there might be a problem with us rebroadcasting the news. Maybe we don't know. Most people don't know copyright laws. We're governed by laws we don't know. And then. Then it got to the atheists and, and the religious arguments, and once again, it's freedom of speech versus, is it hate speech? Is it a genuine personal grievance? Can anyone check once you've had someone's channel shut down? Uh, will people buy the lie before they, before they investigate the truth? And usually they do, unfortunately. And when I first heard about it, I was just hit with sarcasm and bitterness, like I can't express on this video, I can't express it. Where was our justice, I asked. And then I realized that my community was just as unsure and everyone who'd had their property divided up across this communal YouTube was looking out for their own stuff, their own videos, their own community, or very rarely the, the site as a whole. So yeah. I don't see this working as a class action lawsuit myself, not unless you can, you know, which communities to target, and if you're willing to have racists, like rabid, dogmatic racists back on YouTube. So, yeah. That's the long and the short of it. I know, because I've done this video about seven times over. Anyway. Good luck, I really do wish you luck, and if you contact me, yeah, I'll try and drum up a couple names and a few good examples uh, of what I was talking about. Anyway, have a good one.